Good morning. We slept in again. Surprise. It's like almost 8.40. Blue shorts is still in his pajamas. Oh, but I wanted to show you something. I left my mat out here. Outside. It got all chewed up. And there's little mouse trappings. So I don't know if it's like I had a little food in the crevices of this. Or they just like my sweaty body taste. But there was my seat, my pan last night. My pack was out here. And it looks fine. So I don't know. Hello. So I want to give you a little backstory. Um, right before trail days, we were like, we got picked up about 10 miles, 10 to 11 miles behind everyone else. Um, we were at Woods Hole Hostel and everyone else was in Parisburg. Um, and so we on Monday got dropped off back at Woods Hole and everyone else who was at Parisburg decided to slack pack that day. So they got dropped off like 21 miles um, north and then slacked, slack packed back to the hostel or to Honey Buns, not a hostel. And he picked them up. Um, and then we couldn't do that because we were 10 miles behind. So what we did is when everyone was slack packing 21 miles, we were, oh there's blue shorts. We did 18.7 miles. So then that put us like 12 miles behind everyone else. Cause remember we were still 10 miles behind them to start with. And then yesterday we only did like a little over 13. And this morning as we were packing up, everyone that slack packed passed us this morning, meaning they didn't hike yesterday. So they slack packed 21 miles, took a zero, and now we're all kind of caught up. Although they did pass us this morning because we slept in. So, they're all like an hour to 30 minutes ahead of us. Um, and Forward was part of that group and she's kind of mad. She wanted us to um, be ready for her this morning. And we're booty shorts taking the blame. Yeah, I, sl I wanted to sleep in. <laughs> so, we gotta make it up to her. We have one huge incline, maybe like right now, maybe we're starting it, I don't know. <coughs> but it's over a thousand feet in one mile, so that's super steep. So putting you away, goodbye. I have no idea what any of this means. But it's a big one. We are there. And we gotta go somewhere. We gotta go to Maine. To Maine? Yeah. Oh, they don't even have the north part on there. Rude. They're about to bloom. Look at that little guy trying real hard. Um. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. So many. These ones aren't looking so hot. Hello, everybody. 
Coming out to party. Currently trying to put my feet in this cold water. Ooh, ow, ow. <laughs> my pain is funny. You're so dramatic. <laughs> Drama jiffy. Just breathe. <laughs> It hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Ow! That hurts. Look at the sun shining on my foot. Beautiful, magical. Oh, okay, goodbye. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, so. <laughs> did you. Did you attune with it first? Attune with it. You have to like do it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Be one with it. To meditate with it for at least like three hours. Yep. <laughs> it just keeps falling out. Uh, yeah, because that was a shitty ass attempt. I mean, uh, <laughs> Mackie got it at his first <laughs> attempt, yeah, so. Over there. So he did it with a piece of wood, not rock. Yeah, I did it with the rock. I got your he wood right here, bitch. He put the wood in his pocket. What? Oh, did you just get a rock? Yeah, bro. Oh, shit. What's your secret? Dude. What's your secret? How many times do I have to bring up attunement? Is your name Victoria? <laughs> no, that's a D&D &D thing. I mean, it's a fantasy thing. Good morning. We didn't start until quarter to nine. But as you know, that's super early for booty shorts and I. <laughs> Who knows what today is going to be hold. We sure don't. There's a knob. There's a knob. That is what Forward is looking to most in her whole entire life, she said. Is this knob. <laughs> Booty Shorts is looking most forward to lunch. And I'm most looking forward to fixing the hole that's in my sleeping pad. Because, yep, there's another one. And I slept on the ground last night. It only holds air for about 30 minutes. So that's fun for everyone involved. We just climbed up one of the steepest climbs we've done probably in the last three weeks. Maybe, I don't know, very steep. We can see the elevation on gut hooks. <coughs> like how many feet over how many miles. And an okay climb is when, like, the, like, say it's 0.1. If it was 50 feet, that's okay. Anything above that is steep. So, like, if it was a mile and 500 feet, that's doable. If it's a mile and 750 feet, that's pretty steep. This was... 0.7 with point with over 700 feet so it was very 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 steep but we survived we're gonna make it we're gonna make a sticker for ourselves <laughs> we survived whatever climb that was we're actually now on a ridge going to kelly knob so this is what it looks like nice and flat and beautiful the birds are even excited about it. Everyone's so happy. I had a little snack break. Now we're going a mile. So we can have our little lunch break. Going downhill. To all these little tiny dingy rocks. Cows, where are you? Where are you, my baby cows? 
haven't seen you in so long. Squitchy. Oh, dangerous. Bear. This is a water source people say not to get water for, from because it's full of cow caca. Magic. <laughs> Are you going to sit? There's a murder cabin up here. <sighs> Something scary movies are made out of. No thanks. Second biggest tree on the AT. Oldest tree in the south on the AT. It's huge. Kiefer Oak. I'm gonna hug the crap out of this tree. That looks so cool. Oh my god. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving this tree. It smells like cow. Yeah. I was like, oh, it smells like cow. Cow is probably rubbing it. Bye, ginormous tree. Good job, Trayton. This is our lives. Dun, dun, dun. Here's a really pretty view if you're willing to go up on top of that boulder. But not this crew. Not today. Not the danger gang. Not the danger gang. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's the one good thing about power lines is they usually create a view because they have to chop down all of Mother Nature. Hi, Mother Nature, over here. You can see some mountains over here. We're on a ridge if you can't tell. Hello, other mountain. See, look at that. I don't know, actually. Can you see it? It's just a strip of nothingness where the power lines be. Uh, can you see the moon? Where is it? Over there? Up there? Some Karens for ya. There's a bunch. There's a, there's a Karen, there's a Karen, there's a Karen. Gut Hook says they're built by farmers. Other people say they're memorials. So it could be spooky. Here's a big one. I think this one's been maintained. What's in there? Not sure if I like it. Okay. This is what we're about to torture ourselves with at the bottom of the mountain. Water. What a bummer yeah. climb. I'm probably gonna cry. See you with tears in my eyes. Our home for the evening. It's got a nice sunroof, a nice forward, a nice forward, a nice picnic table. A nice booty shorts. And we got even a deck. All the tent, tent, tenting, tenting has been taken up. 
That's fine. We're going to sleep real close. There's yellow forward. And pink Kaylee's going to sleep right next to her. Kaylee? Who? I mean, you had to edit that out. pink booty shorts. Or, I'm not pink booty shorts. I'm pink Jiffy. <laughs> She's confused. Go and tug. We got to start the day with a beautiful half mile incline on freaking blue blaze just to get back to the trail so that was a lot of fun everyone is really excited about that um we finally got onto the trail at 806 a little improvement from yesterday it seemed oh yesterday we only went a little over 12 miles but it was a very exhausting 12 miles Because we've been kind of lucky these past few weeks where we haven't had like any super steep inclines. And if there has been, it's been one. Um, and yesterday we had two and the hottest on the hottest day yet on trail. So everyone was just exhausted for a bit there. We thought we thought we were the only ones. And then when we got into camp, everyone was like, screw today. Um, but the goal is to do more miles today. But there's only one, I think one bad incline instead of several. So wish us luck. All right, tall person. Now let's see what you get. Freaking hate them. This may be our best view of the day. Okay, it's hot. Gotta go by. This is the trail. Slaps of rock. Very fun. So that's the trail. And that's if you get off the trail, you fall down to your death. Exciting. And on the other side, more falling down to your death. Hi, you big boy lizard. Hello, how are you today? A big lizard. We made it to the Eastern Continental Divide. Means all the water that goes that way goes to the Atlantic Ocean, 405 miles away. All the water that runs that way ends up in the Gulf of Mexico, 1920 miles away. Cool. Coolio. How does that make you guys feel? I'm excited about wow. it. Wow. Just wow. Wow Zers. Wow factor. The hills are alive with mountain laurel. Look at all them. Okay, so we got to a shelter that was six miles away. We were gonna eat lunch and then Timber came and was like, oh yeah, Mackie and I are gonna get picked up like a mile and a half to go to Catawba and we're gonna slack pack the next couple days. And both Booty Shorts and I have almost zero food, so that sounded excellent to us. Forward is always down. And forward is always down for a good slack pack. <laughs> and so, that spider web on me. Cute. And, uh, so we're gonna try to 
hitch our wagon to their shuttle and go into town with them and get more food and and such mm -hmm. and cheeseburgers so really wish us luck on that hopefully we can do that okay goodbye this bird right here is going to town on a moth Cool. First it ripped its wings off so it couldn't fly away. Now it's eating its guts. <gasps> Little feet. Okay, bye. Gas station burger. <laughs> that was such a dainty bite. Mm -hmm. What was a good burger? And all that stuff in there. We're at Hostel Pine something or other. Very pretty. It's a donation based one. The goal is to do a slack pack maybe of some kind tomorrow. We shall see. It's a pretty picture. Going to bed at Fort Pines, figuring out what the hospital's called. It's a donation based hospital. Like almost everyone is here that we've seen in the last couple days. Because there's so many points to get off the trail to come here. So it's like a big, huge meeting spot. We're able to wash our clothes. They don't have a dryer, there's someone being right outside her tent. Um, they don't have a dryer, so we just hung on our clothes, and it was really sunny today, so they dried pretty quick. I went on a McDonald's run with a group of people, and it was like 30 minutes away. And, um, well, we were at McDonald's, I got some stuff forward and booty shorts and brought it back. Um, booty shorts fixed my air mattress. He said there were five holes in it. <laughs> um, so now I don't have to sleep on the wood floor today, tonight. We are aggressive, so it's been a lot comfier, but um, so nice. So I got a lot of McDonald's food, and I got a resupply of Catawba, and I did not show you what I got, and I already moved everything. Dang it. But it's enough for like four days, three nights, four days. Um, I'm trying this new thing, I'll show you tomorrow for lunch for our slug pack, which is a can of beans that I put in a baggie. Um, one of those liquid cheese can that come in a can or usually by the chip aisle and chips and we'll wrap that in a tortilla and have that for lunch it's gonna be pretty delicious I, oh, I, I think I mentioned we're doing a slack back tomorrow it's a short one to come back to the hostel again tomorrow night and then we'll just leave from the hostel the next day take a nap idiot